Hello and welcome to English Composition 1. My name is James Jackson and I'll be your instructor for this semester. And I wanted to come to you and say hello before the class starts. It's now Sunday the 12th. Class officially starts tomorrow the 13th, but you're in a preview session now, so you can come into the class and see what's there before the class starts. And you can get started on the work if you want to. Uh, things I want you to know for sure is I mentioned in the welcome letter. I want you to send that back to me that you understand what's going to be happening in this class. It's not going to be a self-paced class. It's going to be an interactive, very interactive, especially since it's a summer semester and only eight weeks long. So the big part of your grade besides your essays that you write will be your participation in the discussions. You'll see that I want you to log in and post on at least three different days. You need to respond to your fellow classmates. One thing I haven't put up yet is your first quiz, which I'll put up probably Wednesday of next week, maybe earlier, which I've got in the schedule as a syllabus quiz, but I'm going to call it the scavenger hunt. So this is going to involve more than just the syllabus. You're going to just basically it's going to be things in the class just to make sure that you looked at all the material. I've got lessons up there now. I've got discussions. I've got the link to Launchpad. And I've got to be adding more material through this week. So when you get to sca you know, that scavenger hunt, it's over what's in the course itself, not just the syllabus. If you have any questions now, let me know. You can contact me by email. And it's not a big deal, but my email account, I have two accounts. One's a student account when I was taking classes, and the other is my teacher account. And the only difference between the two is after the at sign, there's no my, like in your student account. It just says ja jackson at wctc.edu. I always check both email accounts and so forth. You know, a couple of people have been sent an email there, so be aware of that. Uh, there's a way to contact me. There's several ways to contact me. You can email me. You can call that phone number, which is like a voicemail. But the nice thing about this Google Voice, you can also text me. I know people can you know, like to send text. And that way you'll be able to text me with a message. And I'm usually on a computer every day. This next week I might be doing some traveling. But I always usually check that first thing in the morning to see if you have any text. Usually after 8 or 9 o'clock at night, I'm not on the computer. So if you said something 7 or 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock at night, probably won't get to it until the next morning. But I usually answer everything at least within 24 hours. So if you have any questions, let me know. Text me. Email me. Leave me a voicemail. You can go to the Ask the Instructor discussion area and post a question there. Looking forward to working with you, and I will talk to you later.